The group of seven wealthy democracies are holding a three-day summit in the Bavarian Alps of Germany. This summit is dominated by the war in Ukraine and its global fallout. The gathering has been marked by a show of unity and closeness among the seven leaders. They were seen constantly smiling at each other and parting on the box, emphasizing on their unity and friendliness in a relaxed atmosphere at the Alpine Castle. The leaders of France and UK were all smiles at the summit after clashing last year over sausages, submarines, fishing and refugees. There are a lot of really big issues and uh, it's just great to uh, be able to count on a strong progressive uh, voice uh, in Germany to, uh, to, to lead us through. It's always a great pleasure to spend time with the Chancellor to discuss the world's important issues, be it inflation, which affects us all everywhere, climate change or the war in Ukraine. One of the topics we always try to make progress in is uh, this uh, trade agreement and we will now finish this. This is what we are working on and uh, making it possible that the two countries will cooperate and trade better as we already do. The Ukrainian president joined the leaders of U.S., Germany, Britain, France, Italy, Japan and Canada via a video link. Zelensky reportedly urged the world leaders to end the war before the year's end and to intensify sanctions against Russia. Zelensky stressed the necessity to keep heaping heavy punitive action on Russia and to not lower the pressure on Moscow. The G7 leaders are expected to announce new set of economic measures to tighten the screws on Moscow. Ahead of the meeting, wild powers agreed to ban gold imports from Russia. Discussions are also being held to put a price cap on Russian oil imports and fresh sanctions on Russia's defense sector. Later, the Democratic leaders will head on to Madrid for talks with the NATO partners. U.S. President Joe Biden, who is on a five-day trip to Europe, held a bilateral meeting with the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. The two leaders vowed to stay united against Russian invasion of Ukraine. We have to stay together. Because yeah. Putin has been counting on from the beginning. And somehow NATO would, and the G7 would splinter and but we have it and we're not going to so can't let this aggression take the form it has and get away with it it's day two of the summits let's talk more about this and for more on this our correspondent Sid Hansibal is live with us from Germany. Sid Hansibal, good to see you. An update from the second day of the summit what was discussed today and the major takeaway from your end Well, uh, the key focus today has been uh, the retreat uh, in terms of uh, uh, the five leaders uh, coming for the outreach summit, the G7 outreach summit. So now we know that the five leaders are here and uh, the first session is all set to start, which will focus on health, on climate and other issues. Uh, uh, the five leaders, of course, are the leaders from India, Indonesia, Senegal, South Africa and Argentina. Senegal has been invited because it is uh, the president of uh, the African Union as well. So. That remains the key priority in terms of G7 reaching out to the Global South and how Global South can essentially work with the, the group of advanced economies uh, in terms of solving major solutions. But of course, the overhang of the Russian invasion of Ukraine remains. We know that earlier uh, today, uh, President Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, uh, spoke with uh, the leaders of uh, the G7 virtually joining them and of course uh, the focus uh, from his side was that how these countries can work together uh, to essentially stop uh, the war. Uh, details are still awaited. We know the speech was not public but it is uh, naturally that he will talk about uh, the destruction caused in his country by the uh, Russian aggression uh, which of course has been mentioned by other uh, G7 leaders as well. In fact uh, the German Chancellor spoke about it yesterday and today also he spoke about it. How to show a brave face when it comes to you know, fighting uh, uh, President Putin, but also uh, making sure that there can be more against uh, President Putin, which is expected to be the key outcome uh, from this uh, three-day-long summit happening here in Bavaria. Live from Garmisch, Germany, our 
principal diplomatic correspondent, Sid Hansibal. Thank you very much for that update. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.